and they're off. Let's see what they will start with today. Money. This was a. This is a slow star. No particular, particularly useful items. Oh, and cape straight off the bat. That's going to unlock a lot of stuff in town. And we can see that Dax checked the Karlov house, which has a bomb bag. So the cape is going to unlock a couple of checks. We can see the graveyard key, boots, and lamp, and a bo and a bottle in the rupee cave next to Link's house. So this opens up quite a lot of checks in town and on the right side of Hyrule. And we s there's a sword in Juliet's house, which is accessible now, the moment they uh, decide to I, go for it. I get here and people are already checking chickens. What? Yeah, we got cape from um, uh, the lady, the milk lady. <laughs> well, the one that's like drinking milk outside the pub. <laughs> uh, and well, the... Then. Also, look at these shops today. <laughs> they actually yeah. have things. Boots and the first lantern. Rupee kill and a... cave was really useful. Boots, lantern, and bottle. Interesting. The moment I said slow start, they got cape. <laughs> and then everything <laughs> Which changed. just opened up everything. Oh, and there's a sword in Juliet's house as well.
So as we can see, apart from the sword, the minish checks and town are pretty useless. Only getting a blue rupee from the bell as well. See Hendris going for Gorgon Cave. Okay, now I'm back and here to stay. Mm, there wasn't anything interesting in the Minish Checks. Ah. And one thing I forgot to mention as well we also know that in Karlov House there is a bomb bag. <laughs> Which oh, is no. going to make this really interesting to see if that's the first bomb mag that will get or not. So, I kind of want to see a cane at this point. That would be really interesting. <laughs> because make them climb that crannel without a bomb mag. Oh no. The required double dip. Do, do you want to just add the uh, grip ring in the mix, just to make them suffer even more? Well, they need the grip ring to make it all the way up. Now they have the cape! I think cape alone is enough to get them off their cape and cane. Hendra's going into droplets. What? Actually, you know what? That's actually not horrible. That's not a bad choice. That's actually not horrible at all. You can see Dax is checking the four trees. Now, not even 10 minutes in and we already have huge diversion. Wait. Wait. Allison. Is Allison... Book. Oh. My gosh. He's going straight to Cradle. No. <laughs> he just went, got the first item and said no. Though, I think without Bomb Bag... Or can. I don't think there was any other checks at the moment. Four trees aren't that. They weren't useful. The simulation enough, got had nothing. At this point, if Andrews finds anything, he just made the really good choice. I agree with what Dax is doing here. You're able to full clear it. Yeah. Remote bombs is good, and the boomerang. Seems to be uh, focusing on clearing out the town. Um, yeah. I don't entirely disagree with this. It's always good to just clear out town so that later they, you don't need to think about going back. He'll be back. Because other checks that'll come in the logic. Yes, but like, just doing everything available in one go is usually a bit more convenient than Well, leaving. I mean, they're already able to check the fountain for two of the checks. 
Yeah, the fountain is <laughs> quite out of the way when you don't, you can't full clear that. And before Kane is in there, so they last location it. Well, that could happen, seeing how Droplets is going. Like now everyone's starting to retrace their footsteps, with the exception of Kendra still in Jones. Give it, he can get the majority of the checks. Yeah. The only thing that's really gonna hurt not being able to get is gonna be this dark room wall here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. That's just gonna, like, be something that's go just going to make it a bit annoying to come back to. Only remote. No bombs. The bombs are in Karlov's house. At least one of them are. <laughs> At least one of them are. Oh, well, uh, the other there's a bomb bag in front of us. I... Well, there's the logic bombs. Now, will bombs lead to more bombs? I'm just taking a death. I wouldn't be surprised if that death leads him to leave. Apparently not. He's staying. Yep. Nothing of use there for that. At this point, that means there's something in the Minish Woods. <laughs> Apart from the bombs. Cast a wild kinstone there. That's something for sure. Flippers. That unlocks... Oh no! Fruit. That unlocks some checks here. Carlo... Oh god. <laughs> Wait, what? Bomb... Wait, I was right bomb when I said bombs. Bomb. I was right when I said bombs led to bombs. <laughs> oh my god. That uh, is, um, interesting. <laughs> oh no, the bombs in Carlos are bomb locked. <laughs> well, maybe not. Depends on where the, uh, guest jar is. True. Then they could just come the other way to grab the Carlos medal, which also would then really suck. How many rupee cases does that unlock? Uh, I don't think they have access to any of the other ones right now. No, they only have access to one Ruby Cave. The second one you need a Red Sword to access. Yep. And the and third Ruby, the third Ruby area is up in Bell Falls, which you need the Kenstone for. Yep. I think. I also think it's behind the Grip Ring. Yeah, it is. Because so. you need to climb at the top. 
Have we seen elements already? No. Not yet. Okay. I was wondering because they're apparently marked on owls in this room, so they may have been seen already. Owls in checked, okay. So let's see what we got. Deepwood, Cave of Flames, Fortress, Droplets. Huh! Yay. Of, uh, of course we have Graveyard Key early on a seed that, uh... You don't need it. The moment they have Blue Sword there, and... Yeah, what? you. I think you rush that once you have Blue Sword, you have everything else for Graveyard. Yeah, the moment you get Blue Sword, is <laughs> Insta oh, Graveyard. Oh, I it. Oh my god. Go to. Well, Fortress is a required dungeon, so not as trolly today. Go to hey, that's a, Hive that's a Cave wallet. now. <laughs> Hive Cave now. Actually, yeah, Hive Cave actually is. Dax, fun. no. Dax is going. Now, to I, I agree with this. He can do the majority of this as long as he ain't key locked. That would be a shame if he's key locked. Oh no. <laughs> as long as the next chest is a key, he's fine. If it's a big key, then he's gonna go in as quick as he... He's gonna go out as quick as he went in. Honestly, it might help him if he's locked out. Mushroom on Hendrus's side. Yeah, yeah, Minish Blue's having a lot today. Oh. Are going the same route. oh, Aladdin's about to get, get a bomb bag. Base. Well, his sec, well, his flippers, and then he'll soon get uh, the Karlov medal, and he'll be like, "What?" Yeah. Let's see what Hendris is going to do. If he, Hendris seems to be going back towards Lake. So we'll probably see all the cave checks right now. Oh yeah. Nothing interesting in the deep road for now, so... Let's see what pays off more. Deep road or... Mitts.
Oh, but Hendrix didn't get his strippers. That's fine, though. Hendrix is taking care of everything else. <laughs> Plus, she got a cape. Who needs one? True. Oh, if he gets Kane hit, that would be pretty good. Alice is checking something I have a bad habit of forgetting to, that exists. That is one of the most remote checks possible. Mm hmm, and there's nothing there as usual. Deepwood was um, empty. And for now, Hype Cave has been money and a scroll. Yeah, Hype Cave hasn't been uh, very hyped today. It's more like money cave. Which would be fine if he already had his biggest wallet so he could get a scroll. I really want to have just like the seventh scroll be the one in the shop and just make them need to get the highest wallet. Just have shop be like useful for once. Yeah, that's a very strong lack of hype for the hype camp today. I wouldn't be surprised if Hendra's headed to town right now. Same. That does seem to be what he's doing. Also, uh, shoutouts to not finding a sword in droplets for one. <laughs> for once. Let's see if the mushroom's going to pay off. Hendrus remembering the two rupee checks right here that are always useless. Actually, Hendrix is also going to get his flippers if he continues into forest. And it is what he is going to do. Dax going to no hype cave. Was the second sword in cabin? Uh. What? <laughs> I missed that. What? 
Yeah, me too. I think it was in Cabin because that's the only check we haven't seen since Hen just didn't have his flippers. Okay then, yeah. That's a rip for Hendrus. Wow. <laughs> oh no. Apparently it was a cave. Oh, it might have been the top right Minish Woods cave. It was in a small chest. Uh... Yeah, it might actually be the top right. Minish Cave, which is one that I always forget because it's just so out of the way. <laughs> Well, we'll see from Dax now, if he decides to go there. Useless wood, useless wood shrine. I'm gonna call it like that. Yeah, so it was top right Minish Woods cave that had the second sword. for now we have all our runners following each other's steps Deciding to check Temple of Droplets. Yeah, it's not badly paced, it's really constant with just what we get, and it's pretty decent of a seed.
the only annoying thing is that we need every single kinstone and that could take some time. Visitors, so I had to step in. <laughs> That's fine. Everyone's following each other's steps, so right now we're just seeing stuff we already saw. Ah, uh, we're, we, we're at that point of the season and we're only 30 minutes in. Just just remembered he has card of metal. So Dog food. This is fetch quest say every f we're going to be done with the first fetch quest very quick. Well then. The bombable cave in uh, Temple of Droplets was vanilla and was just a small key. Mm. You know, it started out handing us a ton of stuff, and now we're just seeing a bunch of nothing. I feel like going to Crenel right now would be a good option. Oh, that is a point. They have the grip ring. Oh. Huh. So, about that trip to Mount Grenell. 
even more useful. Yeah. Yeah, um... Uh, you got everything but Kane. You can full clear for the most part. Do it. That, and who that, knows? You might get Kane going up there. You probably will get Kane going up there. So it looks like Allison's making his way up to Bell Falls. No, about chores is still like without a grid. If it provides, which I don't think he. Good. I don't think he has. I don't know if he has. He don't have a Bell Falls either. Or does no. He? No. Well, it's two checks though. Still something to be done with. about to see the mushroom, though I think we may have already seen him, I'm not sure. I don't think we have seen that. Oh. Shield. It's a shield. Opens up two checks. Opens up something in mountain, so that they it don't need to, up like, two check. go back, so. Still something. I wonder how long it's going to take Allison to realize that he hasn't done the mid game. No. Well, it looks like it's what he's doing now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Alright, now I, I want to get a... Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> So right now we have everyone go in town, they'll probably all go close to the same, at the same time, up mountains and that's pretty sure the final check they can do. Mid butterfly on the first scrub.
No, it's like Alice is doing everything else. was that on Smith. Another sword. Oh, they have three swords and an ocarina. But Hendrus isn't um, gonna get a sword until he checks that Minish cave. And it's at the beginning of. Oh no. No, everyone's gonna be able to get the rupee cave apart. From... Oh no, it's straight at the beginning in the first rupee, like the three. Yeah, Alice and I'll have that. Oh uh, no. They're all going to check the big rupee cave at the same like south Ah, uh, what's his name? What's the name of the place there? Trolby Highland. <laughs> Hendrix is in trouble. Uh, we're gonna see that Hendrix is just gonna go up mountain. <laughs> and it, if in the likelihood there's a second sword here that Everyone's gonna be able to huge. fall clear. Graveyard. Apart from Hendrus. Uh, Yep, everyone is in Mount Grinnell. I I just saw one thing though. Pika Pals just got the green sword, so they didn't check the cave as well. So we're going to see Dax and Hendrus and Alice and probably head uh oh no, everyone's going up. They're probably gonna finish mountain first. Yeah. Or at least do the south side of it. Then maybe dip and come back now that they have a hurry. They can literally just, uh... Or do you go all the way up now, open up the Aquarina spot, even if that requires going the long way through the mountain? Uh, I think, yeah. The Aquarina I, I almost spot think is... You, I think you almost, yeah, I think you almost need to do it. Because then you can leave, hopefully get Kane close and actually be able to... Just Ocarina of back. And that Pika was the first. and Allison right with each other. They didn't have spin attack. They just got, well, they just got it in Mountain. That's why Dax didn't go out. Now Dax is heading to... Uh, the Highlands is because they didn't have uh, he didn't have Oh, Dax did top side first. Mm. And that's the third butterfly. No, that was already checked. Was that well. was that Cloud Top Stone 4? I think so. <laughs> Let's see this um, Ruby Cave. After this one bat check. K 
Caster Stone and a Heart Piece. Nothing important. Outside of the Caster Stone. Yeah, the Caster Stone is still pretty good. Another bomb back. No, Dax has a red sword too. It's Howie's in Western Wood. Yeah, the only one that the only two that don't have a red sword are Pika and the uh, Pendrus. A second book, bow, and another scroll. On top of my one. So that's pretty good. Pendrus is going the long way round and. I don't blame him, he don't have his red sword, so he doesn't realize it. And still something free. It's a pretty good like shortcut to unlock. Yep, and it looks like Alizen's making the play now. A scroll and a ton of health. Well, these ruby checks have been abysmal. I must say the ruby checks today hasn't really. Uh... Apart from the star of the seed, and even that didn't really un give anything that useful since it gave it unlocked the an area. Starter kit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daxus is about to go back up to mountain. That's a bow, that's a roll attack, and a book. Is that number two? Yeah, that's number two. Okay. Single trophy. <laughs> um, yay. We are at that. That's our second book. So yeah, another book on Mount Grinnell would be. Uh... You know, reality, yay. Let's have all three on Mount Grinnell. Yeah. Yeah. Sub one, Yulari. Yulari gives a, a, a fourth sword. And then Graveyard just randomly has progression. <laughs> that would be just amazing. Oh, a bottle. And another spin attack! <laughs> spin attack, not spin attack. Jabba not. And yeah. there was a second bow there, so that that's light arrows. Five cloud tops. Wow, that that is really fast. Still missing one, uh, one caster and one um, veil, but it's still pretty good to get that many kinstones early. Yeah. Great spin attack is also pretty good.
Oh. 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 Dax, didn't, please go back. Didn't, didn't Dax go to Caster then dip? Yeah, he just went in and just um, checked what. Oh, oh. oh no. At this point, I really hope Kane isn't in graveyard. If Kane's in graveyard, Alice of Blades. I mean, seeing the seeds we've had in the part, like the first seeding race had Cape in graveyard, so you know. <laughs> Maybe we'll have uh, Kane this time. Yo, we getting raided. Ooh, afraid. Yeah. That's another spin attack. No, yeah. No, a split gauge. Just going to have every single like possible spin attack scroll. Two keys from the start. You can skip to the back. Oh, okay, it is, so it would have been a spin attack, so yeah. Well then. We just have way too much spin attacks. Can this like game chill out? We're we're getting so much stuff. So I feel like out of the ones on restream right now. Lead is very clearly Alice. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, I thought. Bracelets. Where is Caster to play? Ah, uh, yes, thank you, room. Dax. Dax is going back to Caster. Good. He's gonna get his fourth sword. Kane. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. Allison is in the lead and it's on hiking. Ew. That's disgusting. Guys, I've rolled a masterpiece. <laughs> no. Do you and choose to go like, straight to Cave of Flames, or do you want yes. to risk going to, uh... Well, yeah, you can finish Cave of Flames, so you do that first. Yeah, you get... Uh, I think... Okay, I think Alzheimer is gonna finish. Uh, I'm still camping on the fact that Graveyard is going to have something. Maybe a cheeky Veil Falls, or maybe a Four Sword. Leading to, um, leading to uh, garden, leading to I something I do else. believe, does Alison have seven scrolls? He, he does, I think. Yeah. 
or not? No, he just realized he does. Like he's going to head straight to. Oh, he didn't get the. He didn't upgrade. climb, but he's got. He's got. Uh. Oh, he did get Kane, so it just make it still. Fast, he can just he? yeah. He he just walk straight up. Oh my gosh. What a seed. And Dax isn't far behind. An hour in. And we're missing. We are gust missing jar. a kinstone, a gush jar, and a sword. Two kinstone, gust jar, and a sword. That's four items. Wow. Uh, why two kinstones? Because we need Veil Falls. Oh, do we? Yeah, Palace of Winds is in is a dungeon as well. Oh. So you need Veil to access up. In cloud tops, if, except if I'm missing an access that. No, okay, so yeah, you're right. So yeah, two kinstones, four sword, and gust. Is that it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Great spin. <laughs> Really good item to have. It's possible they have power bracelets. The power bracelets have been found. Yeah, they were also in Caster Wilds, I hope. Everything was in Caster Wilds. Yeah, Caster Wilds was the ooh. Bracelets are only required if the big key is in pot. That is the only yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll be on pot puzzle. That's the only time it's required. And with Rupee Mania, honestly, the chances of that happening are really you see the voiding thing? Is this to see the void things that need the gush chart? Not really. Very little. There's very little gush charts actually required for. I mean, in this case, deep wood, but there's isn't deep wood too many checks. Because most gush jar checks, the thing is with this game, what they've done is that most gush jar checks can be skipped with um, flippers. But yeah, if anything else is on Pop Puzzle, you can literally go back for it because you can open it from the um, other area. Yeah, and if it has the if it has the big key, yeah, you got to have it. Poor Hendrus, he's now hunting for his sword. Yeah. Which, yeah. Oh, Pika just got their third sword. Nice. That's gonna unlock a lot for them. And now we just need to hope that Hendrus heads back to Lake. Yeah. And he is. Dax has seven scrolls apparently. So we're gonna see what. Fairy Blade the first, if I'm not mistaking. Swift Blade the first. Let's Swift Blade, that's got. it. You would be correct! No one has Gush Jar. Gush Jar locks one of the bosses we need. And two of them are locked behind Kinstones that they still need one each of. They can do Droplets, but it's not required. They can finish so. Droplets, but Droplets isn't required. They've all dipped it as well, so... 
Yeah, they've all. It different. wouldn't take them that long. And then Alizen is well on his way to doing. Cave of Flames. Yeah. We only recently found the cane. <laughs> that would be horrible. I bought is just playing evil, and Dax is going graveyard. No, he's not. Can someone please go graveyard? <laughs> I really want to see what graveyard has. Yes, Dax. Go to Graveyard. Graveyard will have the key. Did Dax intentionally kill himself? Possibly. He did not want to go in the forest with one heart. Well, that's, um, Gus Jar and Deep Cave of Flames. Yay. <laughs> Kinstone's go mode. All four Kinstones swords. and a sword. Butterfly on Dante. Must be nice for them having Rock Breaker. <laughs> Just makes everything easier. Another wallet. That's the wallet that gets them their um other scroll. I guess Dax just wants it for the scroll. I'm pretty sure it's Peril Beam, though. Yeah, so it's not good. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even give them enough. You need, still need another wallet. Four sword! Oh, no! Garden. Garden has Kinstone. Gar well, there is no- you need to do this first since you don't want to have to double dip. Oh my god, Kinstone go mode. Oh, no. we are two Kinstones from go mode. Watch the, and if they're both in Garden. I will- uh, that will be hilarious and we'll have rolled a god roll. Yeah, 
I've this seen. would have been uh, not only a troll seed, but also a trolley jet seed. It's another scroll. Oh, look, a sword beam. Yay. I was in the first to get an element. Yeah, first boss down on restream. <laughs> Hour and five. He's probably gonna head instantly to Deepwood Shrine. I think he'll go deep with the graveyard. Is my guess. Probably. He was already it considering the graveyard play before Kava Flames. Because at this point it's really unlikely that anything's going to be in the rest of Deepwood. And it's just yeah, we got Gas Jar in Cave of Flames. Garden, actually, either here or Garden is probably going to have a Kinstone. Well, not here, apparently. Considering the item count for everyone, I don't think having the first boss down at an hour and five minutes is exactly the worst possible outcome. <laughs> yeah, not the worst. Because they've basically got every single item. <laughs> and there's two dungeons here that are feel very nice to go for. If you get to be able to go both of them. Yes. Let's just hope that palace isn't the first thing they get access to. Mirror shield. Long, long, long key. key. Nothing in the garden. Great, the only thing garden gives us is crack milk. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. I, I, I don't know if I can call this specifically crack milk. You want to hear this crack milk? Go play Majora's Mask. Thing gives you infinite game. magic <laughs> for the entirety of the. You do cycle. need that in that game. <laughs> you do need that. It's so <laughs> convenient. <laughs> Jaws Mask is the curse game. <laughs> oh no. Is Zach going up Cave of Flames? Yeah. Oh no, Allison is going to... Oh yeah, Allison needs to clear Deepwood. He didn't go to Deepwood. That's fine. Well, it's not exactly that bad. Now, because he has Gas Jar, so... It just makes everything quicker for him. Yeah, he can full clear. I think if I was going ahead and dropping the Kim song that I have. Tingle. <laughs> Please don't have something. Oh no. Please. You're right. Tingle's a play. I just realized the statue's there. Nesman is going to hate this if it has something. <laughs> Everyone has their dark checks. Like, Dax, if Dax finds something on his own chest in this dungeon, he will not like it.
Don't worry, it's a compass. <laughs> it's always a compass. Well, right now we're gonna we have a lot of steps being retraced until Alice gets towards the end of the wood. The moment he gets there, he's going to head to graveyard. Get his four sword. We'll see from there. I'm trying to think of what spot is likely to have these kin stones because at this point it's going to be Tingle Green Chew. Tingle Green Chew Blue Chew Octo. Oh no. <laughs> Just make this the worst possible. Octo and Blue Chew have a kin stone. I don't even think that's possible, but. <laughs> Just somehow make it happen. <laughs> no one's checked wave code yet. Okay. No one has the hearts to do it, so. Oh, no, Allison does. does. It's always interesting when there's all uh, the check that give that is locked behind health has something. There's the Late to the party. Not too late, though. We're only a little over an hour in, and two items should go. This seed could finish as early as pff, under two hours, or as late as three, depending on where the stuff is. Three is pushing. Uh, three would legit make them just last location. The kinstones. We've got three people going into Blue Rock. While Alice is grabbing his second element. Yeah, we're missing one... One Caster Kinstone and one Veil Falls. The ducks skip some checks. 
When he finds both keys early, he does the back half of Cable Cleanse first. Because he doesn't have Gusture, I'm pretty sure. He'll probably go back for uh, later. I hope he does. If he skips this, this is going to be like... If he skips this, we're going to have to, instead of calling the compass chest his chest, we're going to have to call it the Cave of Dax. Because this will be two different checks. Like, two different checks, Dax will have skipped. It's going to be his dun his own dungeon. But it's just a compass, you can skip it. <laughs> uh, Addison actually checking some good spots, because the lower Veil Falls has a lot of stuff to check. Yeah, it still has like, quite a few checks. I think it has like six of them. Six or seven. Wow, that's a wow. bunch of nothing. Rupee spots having rupees, that is uh, interesting. <laughs> Oh, Lower Veil Falls has nothing. Town cleanup, I assume? No? Maybe it's in the final check in Fountain. Or Flipper's Cave. Oh, he's going to the graveyard. Oh, good. Yep, Bell Falls and one caster. So, Alazin is going to get his fourth. Yep, he'll get his fourth sword here. Dax will be happy about his cape, about his uh, guest jar.
Okay, I'm I'm having some network issues, so I can't see anything for a moment. So Pika just got their second element, Dax is about to get his. The chances of a Kinstone being in droplets is really high right now. Even too far we know. Where did Hentress get the third kinstone? Was it Tingle? Oh. It was indeed Tingle. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, this place is close to guaranteed to have the final kinstone audience end up being on Upto. It's just not hope. Let's hope it's not Octo or Blue Tune. That would be terrible. And just who was once hours behind is now just 
close to in front, I want to say, as long as he goes to graveyard fast enough. These ducks go to Tingle. You can see that Dux is finishing off in town. Let's see if that pays off. We'll see. That lead Alism hand is gone. Right now, in the lead, I'm pretty sure. It's, yeah, it's Pika and Hendris. If they decide to go to Graveyard fast enough. If Veil falls is in terms of droplets, that's going to be <laughs> huge. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh no, Veil falls is in um, is in fortress. Oh, that! Oh no. Pika is going to is in the lead if they go to graveyard. Uh, please get. I really hope that Pika and Huntress go to Graveyard before going to Palace, which is unlikely and it is going to lose them so much time. Dax is about to get his final concern for Caster. So right now we have Dax in the lead, I'd say since he's the only one who's going to be in go mode. Yeah, Dax will hit go mode here, so Dax might actually win this. 
Except if he gets sniped by any of the other runners. Let's just hope for Darkseid, he doesn't get sniped. I think I'm good now. Darkseid's just seen his kinstone too. The moment he gets the key after going this kinstone, he will be able to just rush this dungeon. Yeah, that is great. And everything will be down to who manages to snipe who.
No, I think Bax already has big key since he's skipping everything right now. Probably. It looks like he's just rushing. Right, Hendrix and Pika Pals won't be able to skip everything because they still are missing the four sword. Yep. Oh, That's why no. they're both completing. So right now we have Dax first, Allison second, and Pika Pals and Hendrix just neck and neck on for the V-Stream runners. I've no clue how the others are doing. If a runner did the right choices, they could be so far right now. Just be instantly in a palace, probably. I'd say palace would be the max at this point if all the choices were right. didn't peek it. He's going to center first. Did Allison get a skin stone? I didn't know. Oh no. He's rushing the boss. Oh no. When he's going to check out that right side. If. I, I I saw some interesting things just checking out the other one. <laughs> uh, this race definitely is. Like, this seed is amazing, honestly. <laughs> this is one of the best seeds we've had yet. Alison done with the boss. Hopefully Alison walks back in or we're in trouble. Let's just hope he goes straight to right side, I'd say. Oh, 
Tony's just now going to rush to a kinstone and just sweep out the dungeon. He's not even gonna have to drop the item. How's the seed? We are in go mode. It's a really good seed, honestly, at this point. This is it's... actually a really good seed. I'd say for the fastest runners, it's definitely going to be a 215, maybe even 25, if it's really. Yeah, if it that's comes down to. to. It really comes down to how this palace turns out. <laughs> Pop puzzle or not. <laughs> Let's see how lucky we're going to be with the rupee checks. Let's just hope that Dax doesn't skip the rupee, te rupee checks. Watching runners practice with the tournament, I've seen people actually skip those checks and it's really bad. So, let's just hope that skips aren't made. Can it seed? Potentially, kinda. Kinda. It's not like as fast as some of the seeds we've seen. But for yeah, these definitely not the setting, fastest, but fast enough. It is really fast for this settings, let's put it like that, because you can definitely make this the most seeds faster just by not having um just by not having a main on. I mean, we've only seen true all dungeons once. I think once ever. Yeah, I think it was once. And it wasn't in a weekly. Uh, Hayden rolled it for Hayden rolled it, and it was hilariously bad. I Miss mean, Hayden. What's gonna feel bad is both Hendris and Pika Palace are gonna full clear Palace. Yeah. That's what's gonna feel bad. And let's hope that they uh, uh, that they go and need to graveyard afterwards because it's going to be long if they don't. It's always taking them like quite some time to just full clear cloud tops. So. Duck's having a hard time with the wizard rope fight. Big key, that is good. <laughs> no pop puzzle, which is good. Yeah, pop puzzle not happening. Three keys. Oh no, wait. No, that wasn't three keys. I thought it was that one of them, one of the grey items was bombs, but two keys right there is really good. Yep. Yeah. 
two more keys and they're done. Now it's just watching them finish off Palace. Then hope that Box gets quick keys. He's currently struggling with the ball and chain knights. Yeah, they're a little annoying sometimes. Two more keys, right?
Thousand? Uh, thousand? Uh oh. Andrus is doing did pot puzzle. Why? <laughs> he has the bracelets. It paid off. It's a key, so he'll have all his keys once he has the top four. Thousand. Thousand. See that Dax is showing off some impressive shots on Georg. Yep. And now Dax only has the HC4. You can look at this. You can look at this and see the massive difference between trying to do this and go moding it. Both Pika House yeah. and Hendrix were ahead of Alice and coming And in. Dax, yeah. And now they've fallen really far behind, which is... Yeah, because they have to full clear since they don't have their four sword. But it's looking like Dax might be able to take this one. Yeah, he m might actually be able to.
are we betting? What are we betting for? Oh, towers? Yeah, let's have a towers bet. Seeing how this this scene has gone, I'm, I want to say... Not too nice, but not too bad. <laughs> Thousand's not that far behind Dax, actually. It's gonna come down to execution and deaths. If deaths occur. Which is... Unlikely, seeing the quality of these events. looking like it's going to be either four or three times. Probably so. Three towers. Exactly what I said, not too mean, but not too easy as well. By not the way, too hard enough. Do we have multiple bets for three towers? If we do, does any of them have anything specific? If not, we have a I think we only have one bet for three towers. Ah, uh, well then, they win by default.
Now the question remains, will Dax take first place or get sniped? I know, right? Part of me wants to say, part of me wants to say Dax should finally, but part of me says the tradition gets kept in someone's knives. So we will see. Let's just hope for Dax that he doesn't get sniped. He gets, if, he, if, if Dax gets sniped yet again, ooh. He is not going to be happy if that happens. Ramstein's like, yeah, French will snipe him. That would suck. <laughs> we will see. It would suck if anyone snipes him. True, if anyone snipes Dax, that'll hurt. Seeing that I bought is like betting on the fact that he is going to get sniped twice, that would be horrible. <laughs> to snipe twice would be hilarious. So the towers are both right side and top left. Dex having issues with the dark map. As always. Dark maps are a pain. That they are. Interesting. 
peak and uh, not go in graveyard. But instead... I mean, at least we're gonna see Yolari, so... Yolari just having a love today. Uh, uh, let's just hope for Hendrix and Pika that they're just after this they just decide to go to the graveyard. Dak's grabbing his key, and then he's gonna go fight body. It actually might not happen. Who knows? Yep, we will see. Hendrix and Peak Pals not wanting to go to graveyard. <laughs> oh, they are going to be so pissed when they see where's the sword. Yeah, they're doing everything but graveyard. The worst that ca ha could happen for Hendris and um, Pika is them literally going to Temple of Droplets before going, before like going anywhere near Graveyard. If they think that's on somewhere in Droplets, that's going to be terrible. Yeah, we will. Alright. Dax versus Vatty. Let's go. Please, Dax. <laughs> Don't mess up. <laughs> GG. Francois done. Oh. <laughs> Dax, not. Also, funny that he got caught on fire right as that happened. And there's another one! Nesman's done! I think Nesman is probably pissed off right now. Um, <laughs> uh, Nesman is going to be pretty pissed because being sniped by exactly 50 seconds 
Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, 50 seconds exactly is pretty harsh. Let's just hope for Dax that he finishes third at least. Peek is about to get their full sword. Now let's hope that <laughs> Hendrus decides to go to the graveyard. Alice is not having the greatest, Vadi. Vadi does not want to be kind. <laughs> That's the term, and Alice is not hitting. We're all sending an extra third snipe. If we get a third snipe. That's only like the biggest rib dash. Luckily, for like tournament seating, the placement isn't what matters, it's the time difference. But. You shouldn't lose that many points, it's every minute as it, co it goes down, right? Yeah, or like is... every minute. It's like every minute it's five Yeah, so you shouldn't suffer too much from this snipe. Alright, here we go. Dax does not want... Ah, oh, yay. Oh no. Well, no, Dax. <laughs> Thank you. GG. GG Stax. Winning is impossible. <laughs> Alright, we were sitting here like, is he finally going to do it? And then the double snipe. <laughs> Did anyone on Restream skip uh, hiking? Mm, Actually, no. no. We had. We had uh, a Hendra skip a uh, Minish Cave on the top right, so he didn't yeah, have his third sword, sword instantly. Mm. And then both Pika Pals and Hendra skip Graveyard. Yikes. Pika Pals finally got it. Hendra is still doing everything else but Graveyard. Also, shout outs to Tingle. Why Tingle? I, <laughs> I really liked how the Veil Falls Kin Stone was almost forced to be go mode. Hendrus is actually gonna end up doing 100% at this point. But he's doing everything apart from graveyard. Oh dear.
And then we'll have, we have Allison who's about to be done. Uh. Allison was ahead for the longest time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. When did I get when I get when did I get ahead of him? Uh when I you, did say, tingle. you got four sword first. <laughs> when you did tingle. Uh. Yeah, when you tingle when <laughs> Yeah, and four sword. The first two that were um, on restream, Handrus was the first to go to Palace, but since he didn't do um, Graveyard, he didn't have his yeah, four no, sword, so he could yeah, so speed run it. Oh, speed no. through. Yeah, him and Pika Palace both full cleared. Was... Hendrus seems to go. Is Yeah, he's going towards Graveyard. Oh, no, he's going to Veil Force. But yeah, Alistair spent the, uh, the large majority of this race, I think. Yeah. And then Tingle happened. <laughs> there was a part in the middle where I really wasn't sure how I should route. Pika Palace and Dark Hyrule Castle now. And Hendrus is going towards the Finally, going to Graveyard. Yay. Dark Horse finishing fifth. Nice. I just realized that Myth hasn't finished yet. It, this is really surprising. Oh no, did he do Octo? I'm very curious on where he is now. I, I'm really curious as well because earlier I knew he was like struggling to like just get the Kinstone because he went and did... He's in Dark Hyrule Castle. Yeah. At least, he's so nice. about to get his first key. Thanks. Uh, remotes were... Droplets. Yeah. Oh, so that... So hot. Oh, okay, yeah. If, if Frontal didn't go in droplets, that just puts just a huge time save. Everyone went to Droplets first, Droplets, which so yeah, that's what was happened. an interesting choice. I really wish I stayed at Krennel before going to Castro Wilds. Uh, I, feel, I feel like that's how everybody felt after this was done. <laughs> Sword. I think everyone would have just preferred staying away from Temple of Droplets. 
I mean, the remote bombs were useful to help me kill myself. That was good. Why did you do that? Because yeah, I did... knew I was certain I was going to at least take a heart of damage in the graveyard. Oh, ghost. And I hadn't found a heart piece at that point. I just decided to get some more hearts. GG's by... Allison. GG's So, was... yeah, you spent a large amount of that race in the lead. I believe it. Um, I assume, I would guess I was probably in the lead until about I third to last location my last Caster Wilds piece. And I yep. assume that's about where I got past. It was single. Yeah. Uh, I almost went there really early too. If I had actually uh, too. <sighs> yeah, that's, had, where, like, that's where things changed. Yeah, if, if I had actually hit that wind flute, I would have done it, but... I mean, at least you didn't do what half the restream did. Uh... Nearly last location of the graveyard. <laughs> uh, I, I, I see it. So, yeah. so I felt pretty bad when I found my Caster Wilds piece. Right. And then, at least when I found the Veil Falls piece, I was like, okay, you know what? I did a lot that I didn't need to do looking for the Caster Wilds piece, but I'm still in a decent shape. And I was trying to figure out what people might miss in the seed that would put me into a decent position. Yeah. Four sword, yeah. And it was kind of the four sword, but it was also like, wow, like we had the key and the lamp so early, I would almost be... And the boots. They were all... Yeah, the like, like all of them were in that stupid rupee cave. Yeah, as I was say, that cave gave you the graveyard starter kit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, uh, all of a sudden, that was like, that was the only reason I can think of that people weren't finished. Uh, yeah. cause it felt like a seed that could have been a really, really fast. Yeah, I feel, I think almost everybody did droplets. But in for in Fortress, one thing as well is that most people went to boss first instead of going right side. I don't remember who, but one person went right side first and actually did the right thing. That was uh, Dax. Yeah, I, was I went dude. right side first and forgot to peep the item. <laughs> I got the bomb bag and then said, "Right, that's all I was doing here," and then went out to fight the boss. Admittedly, I went straight back to right first afterwards because I was like, Shit, "Oh yeah." I I forgot to peep the item, and then I saw the the Kinsubis. I'm like, alright, cool, this is go mode, and just sprinted my way up the tower. But yeah, I picked up the boss key and immediately went, well, before I leave, what's in the two corner? What's in the far left? What's in the far right? Yeah. And then... Th those are basically the two things I try to hit first uh, when I'm doing fortress, and even though I normally will just go, okay, well, I need to. I mean, I think it probably cost me maybe like 45 seconds total anyway to not check that item the first time through uh but yeah i'm surprised that people pushed off the four sword as long as they did because it just graveyards are really really efficient quick play if you can full clear it and everybody who could go there was able to full clear it this seed right away yeah so i was a little surprised to see people not do it um i'm glad I think I might have been able to edge Dax if I hadn't made a couple of execution dumps. Uh, Dax, did you three or four tower? Uh, four tower. Okay, so I did two. Um, I assume you didn't do what I did and got grabbed by a freaking wallmaster. No, it's a pass. I was never grabbed. However, one thing I did was when I got my second to last key and I had already seen the one, I just stopped checking checks and went and said I was going for that key. Which might have hurt me. I don't know where the other keys were. Um, yeah, I don't remember well enough. Uh, also, shout out to Goomba as always for his comment like a month ago about how he's never seen a seed where the first small key is in blade chest and ever since then it feels like 80% of the seeds I've played the first small key you can get is uh, blade chest uh, yeah that was incredible to have a completely empty temple of droplets in I mean, these settings yeah. it's rare usually does a sword there or something useful 
Yeah, I, I mean, the, like, usually I try to have two swords when I go in, because I usually expect I'll pick up a sword, but... Yeah, this one, uh, not so much. Uh, and I felt, I said, like, at first I felt kind of bad about it, and then I realized, you know what, everybody's gonna go to Temple of Droplets. Like, there just isn't a realistic scenario where you don't go to Temple of Droplets in that seed. Yeah. And that's what happened when first place did not go to Temple of Droplets. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised, but... Yeah. yeah. What's the non insultingest way to say that Francois, like, tends to zig when people zag? There, that's the best one. Francois, when I, in his routing, tends to kind of do things that maybe most people wouldn't do. It's the uh, French routing, that's why. It is very much the French routing. <laughs> the, um, the hash as well had um, two baguettes in the. It just proved that Francois was destined to win. Well then. Where was the Tingle Trophy, by the way? I don't actually remember. I thought it was somewhere funny. <sighs> I... Was it Krennel? I think it was Krennel. It was either Krennel or somewhere in one of the Minish Checks near Lake. Oh, say, I definitely... It might have been the Minish Checks near Lake. I did those really early. Yeah. Uh, I definitely had it before my cane. Oh, yeah, everyone. I think everyone had it. Everyone <laughs> had it mostly before cane. So it's got to be relatively early on. Uh... I mean, Arrow has the spore log, he can check right now. That's a fair uh, point. Actually, you know what? You have was it the Western Beanstalk? Yeah, that's probably the what, where it was. Because I remember looking at Western Woods and being like, wow, this was a surprisingly disappointing Western Woods. I only got one guaranteed progression item out of it. And then turns out there was, like, <laughs> the Tingle Trophy you ended up needing. Oh, Percy! That's what it was. Oh, oh. yeah, you're right. You're right. Remember, don't forget to talk to Percy. Always. <laughs> Always. Especially yeah, in this case. Over there at Percy. I think my favorite item placement in the entire seed is obviously the Compass of Cave of Flames. Where was the Compass in Cave of Flames? It's in the chest where the Compass always is. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're you know, right. You, you, you know, you you went through, Dax. You did. You were doing Blue Rock. You like, you know, if Dax doesn't go back in there. It skips this chest and doesn't get his gush jar. We're gonna have to rename that check from Dax's check to just renaming it Cave of Dax at this point. I mean, <laughs> I was planning on going back in even after, even before even fighting Glee Rock. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I probably should have been fighting Glee Rock first, right after the Red Warp. Usually when I have Cape and I'm full clearing, I just go all yeah. four and then Quick Warp and head to Glee Rock. But if I haven't seen a map or compass, by the time I get to Glirock, I fight Glirock first, because if, if he doesn't drop it, I know there's a check I'll probably get to skip. Yep. I mean, if, if I'm missing both of them, I'll do that, but I don't usually do it when I'm missing one of them. It paid off. It gave me, like, two seconds. It did. It saved you an almost insurmount. Hey, Hendris just did what I did in Stupid <laughs> DHC, where I blew myself into oblivion. <laughs> that happens I, way too often. I mean, I active intentionally killed myself with bombs. At this point, I'm curious to see if Myth is going to a snug peek or not. I doubt it, but it would be funny. Yeah, so I, I think other than the Four Sword, Bale Falls had to be people's go mode. I don't think there was really another way you could have set up anything else to be your go mode. But nah, it was going, probably guaranteed to be uh, Four Sword then. Your like, Gust Jar. No, uh, I guess that is possible for the Gust to be someone's go mode. But you would have to have done a very... Odd rolling. ...thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's routing I would have done if I didn't have the cape when I was going in, but good luck not having the cape in that seed. <laughs> Given that it was yeah. the locker of the, the entire seed. At the mo at the start of the seed, like all the first checks, there were nothing, and then I say, "Ah, oh, this seed's going to have a slow start." And the moment I say that, cape, cape, boots, bottle, lamp, yeah. graveyard key, <laughs> have and your first word, just, have... just turn into like something just really convenient. <laughs> see at least I didn't kill Octo. I feel good about that. <laughs> 
glad I at least got my one my sick one second time save from Lanternless. Incredible. What a actual legend. We were sitting there watching Dax go to Nevada, you're like, oh my gosh. He might actually win it and not get sniped today, and then gets doubles. Yeah. Everyone was like that and no. And then my V3 went really bad. Uh, I'd say you beat, okay. you beat your rival, Dax. You beat Myth, at least, by a significant margin. That, that implies that Myth is actually a challenge. Oh! Sorry, what, what was the result last week? Can you remind me? <laughs> Myth didn't win, so everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, my V1 got a little out of hand because I think, I don't remember what happened, I lost my 3 cycle in uh, phase 1, which is annoying. Oh, Pika. I would have been surprised if that hit. Yeah, this that fight is brutal if it goes off script. Speaking of Brutal, this is a little bit of a sad Phase 3 for Pika. I hate Phase 3, personally. Oh, it's... No. If, if you fail it at all, Phase 3 is brutal. Horrible. You just get zapped. Yeah. And then he just decides to go into super speed mode and just start spamming orbs the moment he like, just shoots out electricity. And it just takes so much time. Like, once you get him back on script, it's fine. Yeah, it's just during that variation that it gets... Yeah. Here's a good dot done coming if he stays... Oh, by people in the race room. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah! Ah. Dodge saying that, don't say anything yet, though. Uh... There we go. GG's. And Hendris will be coming along in about five minutes, probably. Yeah. I'm really yeah, proud. This ended up being a pretty fast oh, feed. Oh, and Pika Pal sniping Myth. <laughs> Myth was right behind. Myth's comment is I used to be good at this game. <laughs> I mean, I assume he didn't die to a bulldozer again. I'm going to assume he probably did not. The, the funny thing is that I checked, I, I checked um, Myth earlier, and when he was there, I... I, I had the most funny quote. I think I hit any run um, say when I, you know, Myth's like level. He was just saying, ah, oh, zero viewers. No, that, that's not surprising. Who would want to watch this crap? GG. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, part of it too is that so many of the people who actually watch Minish Cap are all just in the run together. And yeah. so, at least for weeklies, yeah. viewing numbers tend to be relatively low. For individual streams. I like oh, what Ron yeah. just said. When did Myth become bad commentating? And... Oh gosh. Uh, GG's oh Pika. GG Pika. Hey, thanks. So, not a horrible seed overall. Nearly last location in Graveyard must have felt a little painful, but... No, and it, it, yeah. I mean, it felt pretty fast on the whole, and had a lot of stuff that you could just kind of run into. Yeah, this was actually a really nice seed, surprisingly. Definitely didn't seem too bad overall. Just uh, looking at the race time, finish times, I think I can tell who uh, checked Tingle before and after getting the Four Sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess Tingle for a lot of people was there the go mode with the given the stone being in Fortress. Yeah, because uh, it definitely takes a while to finish 
yeah, the both back half and, of both you and Hendris entered Palace of Winds before Dax and Allison, and then both of them were out long before either of you were out. Yeah, it's uh, not a short dungeon when you need to check everything. Yeah, so, and getting to go mode is a really, really fast time save. Especially yeah, when you and get same all with those Fortress. Keys. Yeah, Fortress is a really nice oh, yeah. go mode. Uh, uh, I mean, especially in Palace when uh, in Ruby Mania, because you get that like giant cluster of five items right yeah. after the jump. Yeah. It was nice immediately knowing that I could just not do pot push. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I went, I'm like, okay, here's two small keys and a boss key. Well, I guess I'm not pushing pots today. And just kind of had to flail around until I lucked into the uh, fourth small key. Well, third small key, because I knew where the fourth was. I'm sitting here working on everyone's current point. I can't wait to just see seeds like these in the tournament. It's, it's going to be so fun to just be like commentating on most of them. <laughs> okay, I've the two. Yeah, looking at how the last quick. out of these so first two have gone, um, I'm completely <laughs> expecting uh, the first uh, first uh, round to be Nesbin versus someone who is who is not winning. Yeah. Just <laughs> ouch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nesbin has like I'll, I'll just say it here. Highest possible point someone could have at this point is 2,000 because two races, right? Yeah. Yeah. You literally only have to subtract four from that and you have Nesbitt's points. Wow. <laughs> 1996. Yeah, since he, like, went, came second on this also race the by only, Also, the yeah. only person who has more than 1,900 points right now. That was <laughs> probably because of how far ahead he won last race. Yeah, he won the last race by so far. So everyone didn't get quite as many points off of that one. Who else do we still have? Hendris, our dragon, Rylix, and Semi. Semi's not done yet? What, do you think he's like a speedrunner or something? I know, right? He speedruns Pokemon, not Minish Cap. No, figured he'd be done by now. That's fine. Two. Yes, no, he does one. speed uh, Minish Cap any percent, but he speeds on Pokemon, <coughs> not not Minish Cap. Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't put, done a Minish Cap run in a long time. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon Yellow is what he speed runs. Pokemon is always interesting to watch a speed run off. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one that took me a while to sort of understand what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I remember when Pink and I both kind of started playing this within a week of each other. We just had like a friendly just 1v1, and I think I won by about five seconds after entering the boss fight. I was like in phase two when she was on triple knuckles. And then Gooba's just like, yeah, you need to, uh, watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, what, watching the video on how to, how to fight Fadi is very nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's surprising how something like this that doesn't have traps, we still haven't gotten a jet seed. Even though it's been like three weeks we've been running I this. I mean, 211 is pretty close. Yeah. Well, this wasn't a jet seed, but this was a fast seed. This was yeah, it was pretty, pretty fast. fast. And it's almost... I almost consider a jet seed more jet for if you can't really get items. too bad of a time. Yeah. Yeah. Because this randomizer can be harsh sometimes. That I mean, that's the lack of hints right now. That is yeah, something like... hoping to be dealt with in the future. We're just not there yet. I don't think it's really a lack of hints. I don't know. But I also have... Because it's like, still a choice of do you want to go for hints or do you want to just yeah. Yeah. hope for luck? I mean, it's really not the hints. It's actually just more that it's a game that has a lot of items that you need. And yeah, oh, yeah like, that's the best oh, really yeah. big thing. <laughs> there's oh, nine oh, Rudo's oh, letters. There's, there's <laughs> very few <laughs> to know <laughs> sequence breaks that you can do to get around some Injuries. of this stuff. Yeah. And uh, see, and I mean, I don't know. I, I I always get mixed sort of trepidation at hints, given that I come from both Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, and uh, hints were not exactly well embraced in Link to the Past when people tried to put them in. And Indeed. I think in Ocarina of Time, it greatly, greatly aids the game. Yeah. GG's, Andres. Thank you. <laughs> GG's. So, thoughts on that seed? Um, I'm surprised that Gusture wasn't my last location item. <laughs> <laughs> because usually it's Gusture. Uh, I mean, so, if, you, yeah. if you played the seed right, it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> right. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is wrong. I was like, for most people, their go mode was either the Four Sword or Tingle. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, for me it was Four Sword. Yeah, uh, you ended up nearly last location in it. Yeah, uh, and then after Graveyard, the only place that would have been left uh, would have been Time of Droplets again. So I. Really oh, so yeah, look. That. Actually, Arrow, you having the spoiler log, what was on the Big Octo and Blue Chew? I'm, I'm curious. I, why do I feel like Myth could probably answer that question? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, uh, let's see. Semi just got ninth with 245. Ooh, GG. Nice. Let's see, I don't know how much people had left. I had, I'll say, when I got my oh. cast Wilds piece. I had Minish Great Fairy, uh, Gregal, and the rest of Temple Droplets left. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say in chat what Blue Chew was. Huh. <laughs> 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 I don't think they're allowed to use sorry. that meme with Rupee Mania. It has absolutely no meaning. I know, it has, yeah. no, it has zero meaning. So it has really literally mean. negative meaning in Rupee Mania. <laughs> I know, right? In so Rupee Mania, each time you see a Rupee, you just want to go mental and think like, oh, that means Actually, that's going to Actually, you know what? It gets a little bit more somewhere. meaning. It gets a little bit more meaning. <laughs> we had the good shot this time. Nice. Very nice. It, Octo, well, that's one of Octo's drops, because remember it's a non-element, had two drops. The second drop was literally just a bomb pack. <laughs> so clearly, going to droplets would have been the best play. <laughs> oh, yeah. It seems like it. <laughs> droplets was uh, was the most fruitful uh, dungeon in this whole seed. Yeah, it had uh, a lot yeah, of... It had remote bombs, which saved like, who knows how much time. <laughs> That's true. That's true. No, I think it saved no. about 17 minutes due to remote bombs. <laughs> yeah. No, speaking of loaded areas, Caster Wilds. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, and thinking about it, it's yeah. so easy to justify leaving before you get that cane. One yeah. thing that everyone uh, did yeah. was dipping um, Deepwood Shrine as well, apart from yeah. Allison. Oh, so I, I, I didn't enter Deepwood until I had Dust Jar. 
Yeah. Or Tame of Flames. That, he put, I mean... that, he put that off too before Kane. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. I, I did the southern part of... Uh, I did the southern part and ended up getting my third sword. And so I said, you know what? I really hate climbing to Cave of Flames the Vanilla Way, so I'm just going to go into it. Like, I had Western Woods open is really the reason why I did it. And it's such a stupidly loaded area, uh, even though the loaded area actually ended up being Caster Wilds in this seed. Uh, but I felt really good when I got that cane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, did anyone else on Restream do the really weird order that I did Minish Woods? What'd you do? Okay. Oh. Uh. So, I entered <laughs> from the north. I think I did I that. I get yeah. the bomb bag, and I leave. Go through the west side. I think and I then did that too. See a bomb bag. Bilari. Yeah. I get the flippers too. from Bellari, which gets the cave there. And then go into Deepwood, do stuff there. I left before... No, wait, what was the weird thing I did? Okay, I didn't go into Deepwood after the village... I got the two other checks I had left, which gave me the mitts. Then I went into Deepwood left and went into the mitts caves and went to the lake. I think I didn't enter the Deepwood Shrine after that, uh, but went back to Lake Hylia and checked the digging cave, if I remember correctly. I'll say, I, I, I did my loop in Minish Woods before I even went up to Lake Hylia. Ah. Because um, I think I went in the north, saw the bomb bag, said, okay, there's my bomb bag, and then just looped around and came into the, um, and then just went north up to the farm and stuff like that from there. That makes sense. Oh. I thought my first bomb bag was going to be the one in the figurine house. Bomb locked bombs. We, like, <laughs> that was amazing when we did yeah. that. <laughs> I, I literally never check that item. It just doesn't feel worth it to me. I've had I races never, where it saved so it much time. Oh, I, I never peek it either. I just have a habit of just rushing it when I get to metal. Yeah, yeah. That, like that's really what it is. Is that yeah. I'm in town enough that once I have the Carlov metal, it's pretty rare for me to go any significant amount of time before checking it. There was one race I had where it was me, Francois, Myth, and someone else. And if you went into the Karlov house, it was max setting, so elements were shuffled. You could see an element. And I think Francois checked all these checks at Caster Wilds that were locked by flippers. But if you instead just got the metal, you would have gotten the element in bid and go mode. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That medal also is just one of just so glitched if you get in town. I remember, I don't remember which week it was, but I know someone on Vstream once got stuck for like 30 seconds trying to enter the Karlov house. But if you get Karlov medal in at the bell, you can't go straight in, you need to reload the town. And someone actually got stuck for 30 seconds in front of the door. I think that's just with how the that, game works, because it checks if me. you can open the door when you enter town. Oh, so so I don't think it was me, but yes. I've definitely done that and learned my lesson. I did it on the restream. At, at this point, it's now become super clear what the game, like, doesn't dynamically adjust to the items you have. And so if anything would have changed the state of your screen, you have to reload. Oh, yeah. What was the reward from Simon's simulation? <laughs> Five arrows. Okay. Trash. Yeah. Something bad. It's all right. I that can't simulation is I never played. worth it. No, I mean that simulation's terrible, except when I skip it. <laughs> I can think of multiple scenes where I'm like, oh man, I hit. I'm in BK mode. What? Oh, I don't have anything I can do. And then I looked. And I'm like, oh, I forgot to do Simon again, didn't I? That, that's the thing. I was watching one of Myth's streams once. He had the simulation be something different. The the simulation was like. Oh yeah, the uh, fight. Yeah. He yeah, the fight was different. Yo, it was weird. Leo has been trying to figure out what causes that, but we don't know. <laughs> uh, so the, the, the only times I've had it happen are when I go into the simulation with a lot of swords already, but it's not just that. There are some other triggers in there that mess with it. Well, someone get myth on finding it. Yeah. He figured out what broke the pedestal, he'll figure out what breaks it. He'll figure out what breaks everything. <laughs> yeah. Because it's going to fix... Uh, to Break, any, break everything in the first place. 
Well, any last thoughts on the team, guys? Uh, skip chickens, never skip hiking? Why skip chickens? I needed that 110 rupees. Always skip chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Always skip chickens. I needed that money oh, no. to buy dash attack! <laughs> Just get money from other sources. I went in with 60 rupees and forgot that it cost 80 and just like saw the cost. I'm like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say that I find it hilarious that Rupamania has basically unbugged Stockwell's house. And I'm not even sure it's really bugged. It's just it's terrible in default settings. But with Rupamania, with all the rupees like just sitting there in logic, all of a sudden now people have money. And so they put progression in Stockwell's house. <laughs> All the time. I can't wait for like one of these like tournament setting seeds to have a sword on the six hundred rupee item. I just want yeah. that that needs to happen. Define well, can't have... wait. No. We've had a seed almost like that, except it was grip ring and it was dumb and really dumb seed and just <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> What I want is a four sword at the Yako Castle chest. The one no. little chest south of Sanctuary. That one would be pretty funny. The one I actually want is I want, and I've played the seed once, but I want that you need uh, the three books not to get the item from Yolari, but to drop in to the thing from above to get the flippers. Oh that's, my god, that's, just that's vanilla the, that's the funniest yeah. one. I just want the middle from vanilla flippers. <laughs> yeah, that would be a thing, wouldn't it? I've seen it. I'm pretty sure it was one of the seeds I was employed. Which one? Uh, the one where logically you had to kill Green. Oh sheep. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was saying I had the logical dungeon seed where you had to kill Chu to get to Bellari to get your bomb bag. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and then the graveyard key was on Georg. Uh, but it was really easy to break around the killing Chew thing. Uh, but it was sure funny when I actually found my fourth bottle, which had been locking the bomb bag. Uh, and then I also had the light errors required seed, which itself was something special. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I've, I've, I've got a nice hand for unicorn seeds. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'll get a couple of these ones eventually. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's all. We should probably start wrapping this up. Yeah. Pretty oh. much. How about a plug for the tournament, Arrow Razor? Yes, the uh, this uh this seed was the second of four races we're using for seeding for the tournament. Uh tournament itself's gonna start in two weeks. We'll start seeing matches start popping up here and there. So keep an eye on ZSR schedule once we get to that. Uh, we will also, around that time soon or beforehand, open up a sign-up sheet for people who can sign up for Cosmo Trackers for specific races and so on. So if anyone wants to get involved in that, feel free. We could use it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, after the last two finishes... I'll drop the spoiler log for this race in the Minish Cap Discord, as well as the updated points for seed. As I've basically got everything done now, I just need to plug in the points of the last two people in the crash. So one just finished. Yeah. And one just finished, even though I don't know if chat. Well, GG. <laughs> Where's the other one? And we currently have 22 runners for the tournament, which is pretty good. Wow. It's a really yeah. nice, yeah. Okay, nice the last one's heading into vetting now. I yeah. cool. have all that information very soon. Nice. Okay. So, so, um, uh, anything else you can think of? And actually, Arrow Razor, I actually have something for you that I got from Trez that I can send to you. I'll just DM awesome. you. Okay.
Well, I guess um, GG's to all the runners. Um, thanks. It's always it's always a lot of fun working um, with this community. Much appreciated. Um, also, big um, thanks to Coach Heiss and Air Razor for doing commentary. Um, Our pleasure. Yeah, always yeah. appreciate it. And, and also, trackers. thank you very much to Romstein and iBot02 for doing tracking today. And I helped a little bit. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> so I'm, I'm preparing myself for the tournament. So I'll probably be doing double duty restreaming and tracking. So got to get used to that. So thanks, everyone, for joining us. And uh, we hope to see you next week and also for the tournament. And we'll catch yes. you later. Jeez, okay, bye. Everybody. Bye.